Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here, and we're in the Shave Den. Happy Father's Day. I'm having a, a great day so far. Everybody's left me alone. Uh, family's coming over. We're going to have barbecue this afternoon, and I don't have to barbecue. This is great. So we'll see how it turns out. Well, as promised, I've uh, got a couple of new products to try out today. And I've got some online uh, from uh, Denton Magic Soap. I got uh, Wet Shaving, uh, the Wet Shaving Store. I got some more soaps. And today I'm going to be using some soap from Moon Soaps. And if you've watched the channel, I've used Moon Soaps before. They're very good. This one is Bixby. And Bixby is an homage or a tribute to the Bixby Bridge up in Big Sur, California, and if you've ever driven across it, you'll remember that bridge. I have driven across it uh, with my folks when we were up camping oh, decades ago, and I remember it was uh, seeing the bridge was very impressive. So uh, Bixby Shaving Soap, and it's got black tea, tonka, smoked vanilla bean, black volcanic sea salt, coastal driftwood, black pepper, Italian bergamot, jasmine, green apple, and musk, I can smell all that blend, and I like the smell of the musk. I'm definitely picking that up. So it's a nice soap, and aftershave, we're going to be using that today. Now, from Pearl Razor, the Flexi Open Comb Razor. I have not tried this. I got to admit, their packaging is really stepped up here. So uh, probably... Your instructions here, you've got your warranty card. It's warranty to the first purchaser. Got a cleaning cloth. You have a stand for it. Nice stand. You got the nice, uh, I'll say rubber bottom. Yeah, so it doesn't slip. And here is the razor. Now, this sucker is heavy. Very, I'm gonna set this away over here. It's very heavy, it's an open comb, and it does bear a canny resemblance to the Rex Ambassador. Uh, handle, of course, is a little different. And on this open comb, they must have listened to me and everybody else who was saying, uh, they've really, the knurling and the design on that handle, it's nice and sharp. So you're not gonna drop this when you're hanging on to it. We got the pearl emblem at the bottom and it is adjustable one through six, six being the most aggressive. There we go, we take this off and you can kind of see what she looks like. Now, they gave me Willie's Blades. Uh, let me show you about Willie's Blades. Here's Willie's Blades, made in India, Willie's. I've used them before, but I, in today's shave, I'm gonna be using the uh, my favorites, also from India, uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillette. So let's get the shave started, shall we? All right, I'm gonna get the blade out. You release the cap. I've used the Flexi razor before, but I used this, the uh, clothes comb. I've not used the open comb before. All right. So we'll see how it holds up with this soap. So we're having a new razor and a new soap all in the same video. All right. Let's tighten her up. Actually though, I'm gonna set this on a level, let's see. I'm gonna go to setting number three right there. Oh. Let's tighten her up, snug it in. Now you can see the blade. No overlap whatsoever. I cannot grab any portion of the blade. There we go. Nice and early. All right. Well, I'm wearing my Father's Day gift, Tommy Bahamas. And actually, it's got the barbecue scene on the back. I don't know if you can see that. So I definitely do not want to get shave soap on this. It's silk. Uh, it cost a fortune to dry clean. So let me take this off. All right, now we're in business. All right, 
Oh, and I'm going to be using uh, the Shave Mac Badger today from Germany. Put that in the crystal skull right there. And I noticed a lot of you are finding the crystal skulls online. Yeah, if you need to, if you like them and you want to get one, this is, uh, I just searched for crystal skull candle holder and you can check Home Goods, Amazon, eBay, but uh, it's kind of a cool to add to your collection and you could always throw one of those phony uh, lights in there for Halloween and she'll be glowing orange for you. All right. All right, and I do need a shave as you can see. The dog might start barking. Guests are gonna be coming soon, so I'm not trying to rush through it. I just wanna get a nice shave without any hassle. All right. Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean today. fun on that James Bond pinball machine. In fact, I've been catching up on my Sean Connery movies. I've uh, finished Goldfinger and I'm watching You Only Live Twice now. My wife has never seen You Only Live Twice. But then when everybody came over to hang out the other night, nope. only got halfway through the movie. Not too much water on this brush. There we go. Now it's whipping up. I've said in my other videos, lathering is a lathering is a preference. If you want it super thick, it's up to you. Super thin, it's up to you. I just say there's no right way. It's what works for you, right? What works for me might not work for you. All right. Oh, nice heavy razor. Let's see if setting three works. I might have to back it down. Or not. And it's a heavy razor, just the weight of it on your skin. Saw so Mantic 59 do a review on this. Well, I started to read it. I didn't want to watch it all the way. I wanted to be pleasantly or unpleasantly surprised. Now, the soap is very good. Soap's making this thing glide, so can't go wrong with moon soap. An open comb razor is especially dangerous on your upper lip if for cutting. So don't be too aggressive with these open combs. But they do cut much smoother than the closed comb to me. In my opinion, I think they cut the most aggressive, in my opinion, and then the slant razor is next, and then the closed comb. Yeah, this soap's really slick. Oh, it's aggressive on my neck right there. I can feel that. You know, you uh, you know, uh, some people say, hey, I got to do three passes, four passes. One pass would have done me right there. No issues whatsoever. Oh, nice. You 
yeah, this, uh, this is the newest soap from Moon, or one of the newest, but I was on their site uh, doing some reading on them, and there's a couple of other nice scents that uh, are out there. So if you haven't visited their websites, or, you know, it's definitely worth a look. Yeah, the soap is very slick. It's making my fingers very slick. She's not clogging, she's holding up. Look at how thick that head is. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, every everyone is individually serial numbered. So you can kind of know when she was produced based on serial number. And the same with uh, with these soaps. You have a lot number on there too. Now I've picked up the soap. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot number. So I, I like the good quality control. Oh, might have got me there. This is even worse. Open comb going horizontal. <laughs> See the rake? Oh, yeah, got me. See? Yeah, I could tell it was very aggressive. Three might be a little bit too aggressive setting for me. Look, there's nothing left. That first pass took it all off. Could have stopped at one. But I enjoy hanging with you guys. Oh, man. Yeah, three might be a little bit too much for me. You go to six. Can you imagine six? As long as I didn't cut my lip, because that takes a while to heal, man. My neck, not so much. Soap in the ear. Got my dry skin. <laughs> that razor does not appreciate dry skin. I'll just take it right off. All right. I'm assuming there's alcohol in this. An assumption. I don't usually check. I like to be pleasantly surprised. Nice burn. But the scent, very nice. These complex scents, it's hard for me to, to, to describe. But musk, I do smell the musk in there. Not bad. All right. Oh, yeah, got me. <laughs> Number three setting on the Pearl Flexi does not work good for Ken Surfs. Probably had to back that down to number two. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching. Happy Father's Day. And I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. I appreciate you watching and I definitely appreciate your subscriptions. All right. Have a great day. Bye for now.